behind me choosing motorsport engineering is I've had quite an extensive career, all in mechanical engineering. However, what underlies all of that is the fact that uh, I'm very passionate about motorsport. I chose this because obviously that I can still carry on with my day job whilst getting my degree. During the week, I'm a mechanic working on everyday road cars. I chose the course as it was the best all-round solution to fit in formal study around a Monday to Friday day job, being a dad, and then working professionally in motorsport at the weekends as an instructor and team owner. I work um, in the automotive sector um, 40 hours a week with road cars, so and I always wanted to progress into motorsport eventually, so this is an ideal opportunity with the NMA to take that forward. I found the course so far very enjoyable. Um, tutors are always very helpful, and if I've ever got a problem with anything, then I can always uh, turn to them and usually get a very speedy answer. I thought it would just be taking my mechanical knowledge to the next level from road cars, but it goes beyond that and it goes more into how things are made, into how they're designed. You're doing a lot more work on the computers. It was a case of, okay, so all those things that I read about in magazines, that's how it's done. Um, all of that research that, that people talk about, that's how it's done. So it was, yeah, extremely insightful. Obviously the benefits of doing it online is you can manage it all yourself. You can still work during the week. So you haven't got to quit your job, go to university and end up with thousands of pounds worth of debt. If there wasn't an online motorsport degree, I don't think I'd be studying or even working or volunteering in the motorsport sector as it is. Um, I just wouldn't have the finances to leave work and then go to a university to study for three years. I can learn at my own pace. I don't have to turn up to uh, a classroom or a tuition at a specific time on a specific date, which sometimes can be very difficult. At the end of the day, I log on when I want to, I study what I want to, when I want to, um, and if I feel like taking a day off, I can. The beauty of the online degree and the format and the very, very easily accessible nature of the materials is that if you've got half an hour, you can literally go to a laptop, open a browser and be productive virtually instantly. The most valuable aspect of the course for myself so far is most definitely being able to uh, turn up to events at, at tracks and, and live the real-time racing. Um, it makes the whole thing tangible for me. It's not just academics, pens and paper and a computer screen. It's the whole getting my hands dirty thing again. It's, uh, yeah, rewarding. We were at Donington Park and, and the first race on the Saturday, we actually got a second place, which was amazing for me. The exposure to tools like Star CCM um, and Autodesk Inventor, which are very expensive software tools. Um, to be able to be guided through building uh, a product in them uh, by a tutor as good as the ones that will be available to you on the NMA degree um, it's hugely valuable. Where else could you find somebody who would be able to invest that time um, and get access to those products fully up to date uh, with all of the uh, all of the supplied materials? Uh, you wouldn't. I would recommend the course to others that have a passion for motorsport and want to get into it. Obviously, you need to have the time to commit to it. If, if you think motorsport is going to be the subject for you. Um, go into it eyes open that it's a lot of hard work and you, you, know, you do need to be fairly self-starting. Go for it, but just understand one thing. You have to go and get the qualification. It isn't going to come to you. You have to work for it. And I definitely recommend the course if you work full-time yourself, uh, if you've got family commitments or anything like that, it's excellent. Mm -hmm.